the media basically blew the story in 1963. I'm talking about the American media. They, they accepted the cover story, which was put out on Friday afternoon, uh, that Oswald did it alone. Uh, and I showed that in the movie with Donald Sullivan. They had the, uh, the cover story right in place. Uh, it's a, it's, it was uh, the technique of black operations, the technique of covert operations. They had a studio biography of, of Oswald that was available on all the wires. You could have been in New Zealand, you could have been in Egypt, you could have been in, in England. Uh, South Africa. You got the same story on Friday afternoon. This was four or five hours before Oswald was charged with the killing of the president, but it was already starting to point to Oswald. And when Oswald was killed on Sunday by Jack Ruby, the New York Times headline said, President's assassin is shot. It didn't say, President's alleged assassin is shot, which is what it should have said. You know, we're living in the Orwell age. He, he's an Eng your English uh, writer is was much more acute than people give him credit for. Uh, I remember when 1984 rolled around, Time Magazine had a cover and they sort of chuckled and said, well, you see, 1984 came and went and it never happened. But it did happen. And it happened in a much more subtle way than even Orwell could have predicted. It happened in a way where the media did take over, but they gave you so much trivialization and so much marginalization uh, that they could depoliticize any issue by trivializing it. And it worked.